Hey, welcome back, friends. So are the days of filling your cooler with ice over? Are they coming to an end? I know for years now, all of the popular roto-molded coolers have been challenging each other on how much, how long they can hold ice and all of those things. And they, they charge crazy prices for those coolers. Well, what if for the same price, you could get a cooler that you never need to buy ice for? Everything stays dry, it keeps things ice cold. Matter of fact, this is considered a portable freezer. Now, you don't have to use it that way. You can use it as a portable cooler as well. But yeah, why would you spend the money and have to buy ice when with the same price, you can just get something that never needs it. Now, we're gonna go over, we're gonna test this IceCo JP30 today. IceCo was nice enough to send one out to me to try it out. They also sent me, and this is the reason I wanted to show you guys this more than anything, they're little portable lithium, I guess you call them generators. And this is a 250 watt hour generator, 150 bucks. That's pretty cheap for one of these right now. And uh, they sent me this. So we're going to run this portable cooler freezer, see how long it'll run on this portable generator. Now, again, this is an option. So they, they, you have to buy them separately, be clear about that. But yeah, let's see how it works. We're gonna take all this stuff home I'm gonna wrap this in an insulated, uh, they have, they come with an insulated cover. So the next scene you see will be me at home starting the test. Let's get going. Okay, one more quick side note before we get home. I lied to you guys a little bit. I have been running this JP30 Iceco for over a month continuously. So it holds temps really good. I don't open it that much, but um, it holds temps good. It keeps, I have it set at 36 degrees and it keeps the temp anywhere from 32 to 39 degrees. I've never seen it lower or higher than that as I checked on it for over a month. I kept it running straight. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's very quiet. I do like that about it, that compressor. I've got another cooler that I'm going to test soon. It's not so quiet. This one is. So that's really good about that. But I wanted to make sure to let you guys know that I've had this thing running for over a month and no issues whatsoever. But yeah, let's get into this test. Okay, friends, I think you have seen enough of my face. Let's go over a couple of the features of this little ice code JP30 and also uh, explain how we're going to do this little test along with its uh, its battery powered. Uh, this is an optional lithium battery. I guess they call it a little generator here uh, that, that you can buy separately. Now I think this one is running about $4.99 for the JP30 and I think the little 250 watt hour generator, lithium generator, runs about 150 bucks. So for 150 bucks, that's pretty good to be quite frank. Um, <clears throat> so what you see here is the JP30 in its little insulated case. That's an, uh, you can find special sometimes where they do to bundle. And I think that's what they sent me. If not, you can buy these little insulated cases separately. You just kind of unzip it here to get, I'm trying to do this one handed. So if it's a little wonky, I apologize. But you can see there, you can pop it open. You can see I've already got drinks in there. We'll talk about that in a second. But that's that. Uh, inside, you got this little basket that pulls out. You have this little separator that pulls out. There's a, kind of a little separate compartment here and a cute little blue light going on there. Kind of all your recommended temperature settings for different items. And then a wiring diagram that I'm way too dumb to figure out. That's out of my league. But yeah, that's that. Let's go. You got uh, this, this does get in the way at times. So you got to kind of move around that. Uh, nice sturdy handles. You'll have to install those when you get it. Uh, pockets over here on the insulated cover, but they don't fit the they don't fit that. So that would be nice. Put that back over, and you can see through there the uh, all the settings there on and off. 
uh, max or eco mode there. I put it on max when I'm cooling everything down in here in, in the house. I'll turn it to eco when we go to battery power. And then adding and subtracting your, uh, your temps right there. You can see that. I'm gonna flip you around over here to the business end. And here is our AC power. Here's our DC power fuse. And this over here is your battery protection mode. So this basically allows you, if you set this on high for sure, but if whether you set it to medium, high, or low, it basically assures you that this is not gonna run your battery down if you've got it hooked up to your car. So if you're in your car and you're off-road, Jeep, truck, whatever, and you're running this thing off of the battery, this thing will shut off, the cooler will shut off before it runs your battery down. They wanna make sure that you can start your car. Now, let's talk about how we're gonna do this test a little bit. As you can see, I've already loaded it up, I've already pre-cooled it, and I've loaded it up with cold drinks. Um, it does not have to cool those drinks down, uh, so it'll just be maintaining. I'll be coming out, I don't know, every so often to, uh, to open it and close it, just like you would getting a drink. But uh, also I want to make sure that you guys know we're at a 100% on the battery power, the lithium battery. So yeah, let's see how this thing does. Let's see how well it maintains temp. Let's see how it does, how long the battery lasts. I know for a fact, I've been running this thing for about a month now. I know for a fact that inside 72 degrees or so, it'll maintain 38 degrees for 15 hours. But we're going to have it outside today and it's going to be 85 degrees so let's see how that works okay friends we're out here in the garage and i am keeping it in the shade because if i was in a normal situation i would try to find a shady spot for it either under the rv or under the bimini of the boat something like that so yeah here we go and we are totally on dc power now the little ice co lithium battery is running this thing and we're at i put it on eco mode and you can see the weird lcd flashing but it's 32 degrees uh, I'll open it and close it from time to time as if I were grabbing drinks it is let me see come on Apple watch it is 1125 so we're gonna get into the heat of the day here in the next few hours and we'll see how we do right now we're running about 78 79 degrees we should be around 85 by 4 o'clock and hopefully it's still running just fine by then I'll go ahead and go open it up like I'm getting a drink for the first one. There we go. Looking around which drink I want. There, I found it. Boom. Now, I do, these, these corners on this little insulated thing don't fit completely perfect. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. And I'll keep you updated. Okay, one hour seems like a good time to do an update. And I've opened this thing probably six or seven times now. And we're at... 99% left on the battery life, which is impressive. At 36 degrees, you see that with the flashing. And I, like I said, I've been coming out here, opening it up, pretending like I'm grabbing a drink, and then closing it back. And yep, there you go, we'll, we'll keep it going. Okay, continuing on, three hours and 10 minutes into things. I've continued to open it up every so often. Still holding uh, 36. As I open it up and close it, it's gotten as high as 39. So that's all good, but three hours in and our battery life is still at 89%. So yeah, pretty good. I mean, at three hours, that's half a day on the lake already and we're at 89%. So things are looking good for this thing. I'll continue to open it up three, four, five, six times an hour and we'll see where we are. I'll probably wait probably at least three more hours before we check back in on it again. Okay, friends, it is 8.10. We've been going for almost nine hours. Nine hours, guys. We're still at, I don't know if you can read that or not, 46% battery life on the external lithium ion battery. I bumped it down to 32 degrees. We can see that there. And we're holding steady. Now, I haven't opened it in three hours, I think. We went to a ball game. We had, you know, life happens. So I'm going to go ahead and open it a few times here. Let me see if it actually feels, yeah, those are ice cold. So I would, uh, I would imagine that that's 32 is accurate. All right. Yeah. Let's keep it going. I, you know, I'm going to go to bed tonight about nine. So, um, we'll see where we're at then. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it two more hours. How about that? I'll stay up till 10. 
All right, guys, this is the last update I'm going to do. Then you can kind of do the math to see uh, what do we got left. 37% battery life. Still at 34 degrees. It is 10 o'clock. Can you see that? Probably not because it's not popping up. There it is. It's 10 o'clock. We've had this thing going since 11.20 a.m. And yeah, so over 10 hours. And it's just rocking and rolling. 34 degrees. Uh, I've opened it several times since the update at 8.10. And we're rocking and rolling. So yeah, very happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and shut down this test. I'm happy with it. I feel like it will suffice for any day on the lake, uh, any long drive, anything like that that you may have in mind for something like this. So, yeah, it has no problem at all. It's easily got another, you know, four or five hours maybe in it. Okay, friends, there you go. I uh, ran it for over a month on AC power, and then it's got at least 15 hours in it, even opening and closing it. Uh, it's got at least 15 hours of that little generator that Iceco offers. Uh, I'll link in the description box below. I make nothing if you use those links, so it really doesn't matter to me if you buy one or not. But if you are in the market for one of these, I think this did pretty good. I think this one uh, maybe should be on your list. I make a few different sizes, and again, you can find those in the description box below. Guys, as always, I hope you found this review useful, and uh, if you did, please consider subscribing. See ya.